you guys are here with me today um today is a kind of like a collab day with pia we are doing uh like a switcheroo i done one with um chloe demure of the save the victory roll where um i sent chloe some stuff from the u.s she sent me some uh makeup from canada stuff that we couldn't get here and she couldn't get there so that's what i'm doing with pia and um, Pia sent me some stuff that I can't get from, um, Den she sent me some stuff that, um, from Denmark that I can't get here in the United States. And I sent her some stuff, hopefully, that she can't get in Denmark that, um, get from here in the United States. So, like, one of the things that I used to always be able to get was Max Factor. Used to always be able to get Max Factor back in the day, and all of a sudden, it was gone. So, but Pia can get it over in Denmark. So she sent me some, and she sent me a couple of shades, different ones back um, here not too long ago, but one of them was just a little bit too light. So we're going to try this rosy beige. We're going to see how well this one works. Excited to use that one. And then she sent me some mascara, and she waterproof, because she knows I love waterproof. This one's called Catchy Eyes. So I'm going to go ahead. I should have already went ahead and taken all the paper off this. Curve, length, and definition. Everything I like. Rimmel. I like Rimmel. And sometimes I can find this on Amazon. And every so often I can find it at Target. But that's pretty much the only places I can find it. And this is in Sun Bronze. And this looks like it might work. This is going to be pretty. And some glow drops. Highlighting primer for face. And this is Jekka Block. Jekka. Jekka Block. Jekka. What, this is it. And no, I have not seen this over here. Be fearless. You look fabulous. Ooh. So that is what we are going to be trying. Ooh, Max Factor Blush. Now this is what I used to use all the time too, is their blush. And this is Stunning Sienna. And this is a cream. So this is going to be pretty. Does, oh, it does not twist off it. What does it do? Oh, that feels very nice. I like that. It's going to be pretty. Mm -hmm. And we have here a highlighter. And this is MUA Lux. Never heard of that. <laughs> this is going to be pretty. Very nice and creamy. Um, light illuminating highlighter stick. Oh, very creamy. Let's see if it dries down while we're sitting here and going through everything. Then I have Max Factor Pencil and Red Rush. Ooh, that is going to be very pretty. Orange. Especially with Valentine's Day coming up. Real Brow Fiber Pencil. I never used a fiber pencil. 
Oh, it does. It's got little bitty fibers in it. I don't know if you'll be able to tell or not. Probably not. But it does. It has little, little bitty... Oh, there. Can you see? Little bitty fibers. All right. If I if I wouldn't have seen fiber, I would have been like, it's got fuzzies. Did Jacqueline Hill make? Oh, that was bad. I'm sorry. Shouldn't have said that. Shouldn't have said that. That was bad. Wrong of me, and I am sorry, and I apologize. That was not good. Another Max Factor. This is called Definite White. Ooh. This is this. My eyeshadow or highlighter. She knows I love. Oh, that's eyeshadow. Wild shadow pots. Yeah, that is eyeshadow. Oh, I love that. You know I love that on my brow bone. That is going to be so pretty. Pia knows me. And then I've got two lipsticks, it looks like. This is from Rimmel. It is called Take the Stage. Ooh. Look at that red. That's a red. That is pretty red. Take the stage. I, you know, it's been forever. I don't remember you ever using a Rimmel lipstick. And this is Max Factor. You know, their Cody brand. Max Factor Lipfinity. Always elegant. Oh, this is a very pretty shade. It's uh, balmy, burgundy, brownish red. I like that. These are going to go, these, we're going, we're using it all. And then we have W7. Smoking shades. Never used W7. We have a, some W7, I think it's W7, skincare. I've seen some skincare. But I don't think, I've never seen any makeup. And this is the shades. And this is what we are going to get into. Oh, these are going to be pretty. So first off, I'm going to wipe this off because if I don't, you know I'm going to make a mess. It's going to be everywhere. Everywhere. I hope you guys are all doing good. Today is my sister Lisa's birthday. She is 61. I know, it's just so hard to believe that we're all just getting so old. <laughs> just getting so old. So first off, I'm going to go in with these highlighting primer for the face. And it's got a seal on it, so it's sealed. And I probably got too much, but it is uh, tinted a little bit, so. Oh, it glowy. This would look really good in. This would look really good if you just put in a moisturizer if you wanted to. 
this is going to look pretty in one of my really matte foundations that I have. It does have a scent, but I can't figure out what it is. It's not bad, but... Made in... Did it say Amsterdam? And this is in the color Champagne. Can you see? I do have a little glow going on. So, let's go over here. And find my brush. What do I do with my brushes now? Oh, they're in front of my face. Now. Now I need to get a new sponge. Get away my sponge the other day. It was disgusting. You can only wash your makeup sponges so many times before they are absolutely nasty and disgusting. You can only save them a few times. Well, I mean a few months. <laughs> I mean, I wash mine every time. I use it. But what we're going to do... Let me see how thick this... See how thick the... I do like that. See how thick this is. Because... Now, if you have oh, I think it's gonna be a good shade, Pia. See, like this is kind of thick. It's not going down real. Th this is one that would be good with a sponge because it's not gonna soak the product up. Now, if you have one like a skin tint, you want to go in with a, a brush. Because it's not going to, because a sponge will just soak the product up. Or you can go in with the brush. It's your choice, but if it's looking kind of streaky or it's not looking right, depending on the velocity of the product is how you can go in with it. But I am going to try a brush first and then go in with the sponge to kind of That has a nice, fresh smell. I like that. And I, I use one pump. And this is Healthy Skin Harmony Miracle Foundation with SPF 20. Don't, but don't, I mean, when you are shopping skincare you i mean you know spf get an spf for your skin at least 30 or higher an actual spf don't count on skincare or makeup for your spf okay but this It's 30 milliliters, made in Paris. God, man, it smells good. It's perfumey, but not heavy. Miracle Foundation. Let me get my actual mirror. Let me look. Okay. Yep. 
Yes, Pia, this is a great color. Taking just a little more. But on the cheek area, and I think I'm going to go in with my sponge on that. Sorry, we got just a quick call from hubby. Wanted to know if I wanted scalloped or au gratin. He couldn't remember which Betty Crocker I said I wanted. And I said I wanted au gratin. I wanted the cheesy ones. I want to make some pork chops with some au gratin potatoes and... I'm debating on, I think I might have asparagus. I don't know if I want asparagus or green beans. Next time, I think I'll go in just with a little bit more dewy or, um, foundation. What's right here? Oh, that's from where I, s I got, I've got a deep conditioner on my hair and I literally, um, I think scrub my scalp too hard. Yeah, you did great, Pia. This looks really good. Between this and my Wet n Wild, these are my two, and the one that I did get from, um, Chloe, I'll be switching back and forth. Those are really good foundations. I like them. Now, first off, I'm going to go in with, where's my little thingy? Dun, 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 dun. Of course, I can't find it when I want to. Going in with my coffee scrub. God, it smells so good. Tastes just as good. I'm going to get the sugar crystals off. And then we'll go in with the glazed donut. And we'll let that sit when we do the rest of our face. So, going to go in with this bronzer. I want to use my little brush. Where is it? Mm 
I'm gonna take it up on my ears a little bit. I think that would also go, that primer will also blend well with my, uh, what is it? I think it's my Glow Serum Primer. This one looks so metallic, and I think that would help it a little. Don't get too scared with this. I will get it. It will look fine. Usually I don't knock it on there, but I did. It's all right, it'll be good. I'm gonna go in with this blush. And we are going to take my sponge. This is very pigmented. Look at that. Woo! Don't just do what I did and go like that because you will wreck your foundation like I just did. I don't know why I just did that, Deborah. See what I did? Yeah. I have to go in there and fix it. I will fix it. Don't be afraid to bring your blush up. We'll fix this. I'll show you how to fix it. Looking for my blush brush. Whoa, that is very, very pigmented. Okay. I mean, you can still see I got some blush there, but I'm going to use this a different route. Now I'm going to pretty much have to almost do the same thing for this side. It dried down on my sponge quite a bit. I mean, I know I was wanting to get into blush for 2024, but not like that, not that much. But we're also going to tame it down a little bit more, so. But just trust the process right now. We'll fix it. We'll get it.
We will get it. Okay. this here Well, poop -a doo Okay, now I usually don't use powder, but I have found one that has not been too bad, and it is the Wet n' Wild Clarifying Finishing Powder. And what I do is just go in very lightly very lightly and this will kind of set it and then kind of tame this down Okay, where's my brow stuff? Where'd my brow pen go? Here it is. I'm gonna go in with the brow. I'm gonna go spoolie. Got some new brushes, so. here just I'm going to outline hmm it's not bad a little dark but not much I could tone it down with a little bit of um I've got like a red Like an auburn like um, eyebrow thing if I wanted but I kind of like this this is not bad and if you have a pencil and you need the point just take it on a piece of paper and rub it like this on all sides and it will come to a point and yes And I have a thing where, you know how these makeup, when you buy the makeup at the drugstore, they come with, I think even Dior still does it. They put the brushes in there. Yeah. 
the brushes or the applicators and I don't know about you but I don't use it and I'm thinking I am going to get some stuff and use stuff that I used back in my high school days I'm going to try to get the brands and try to get as close to the colors that I did use back then. Okay, remember um, eyebrows are sisters, they're not twins. <laughs> they're not twins. Sometimes they're really not even related. They're just past buyers in the night. <laughs> but yeah, this is not bad. The color's not even bad either. I really like it. All right. Now let's get into this palette. Um, <laughs> going to put on some primer. And this is a eyeshadow primer by Charmacy that I got in a um, subscription box. Which one? I can't remember. I think it was Slay Glam. It's clear. like the fact that we have a clear primer. And I have used this quite a few times and it's pretty good. It, it really is. And I've also used it for um, shimmers. And then it works, works very well with shimmers and glitters. So. set that just a little now I think I'm going to go in like with the purple but I'm going to start down here and da 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 I'm going to put this on right now, like kind of like all over. Where's an all over brush? Like this come with this. It's got this little bitty brush on the end and then an applicator. And that's just a transition. It's exactly like this, my skin tone, which is pretty much what I wanted, and just kind of going all over. And now I want to take I think I'm going to take this 
black that's in here. Like I said, don't ever be afraid of a black. Just go in very lightly. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this. It's got some mats in it, but I don't think I'm going to really use the mats. I mean, that this black kind of turned into a mat. Now I'm going to go in with this like silver color and I'm going to kind of blend out the edges. And I'm going to blend up when I do that. And do it on the outside. I'm not worried too much about the inside of it. Then we're going to go in with it just a little bit more. And go right here. It's just at the very corner of it. And then we're going to go in with this purple color. And I think I'm going to try that applicator on here. See how well it picks it up. Oh, it did pick it up pretty good. Let's see. Uh, not giving me my hopes and dreams. Nope. No hopes and dreams there. So then, so no hopes and dreams on that. So we're going to go in with this. Nope, not on that one either. goldish color okay that is pretty I really like that I'm going in with some more with that silver though I really like that silver I was like, where's the brush? I thought I had that silver. It's in my hand. I'm going to take this up here. Bring it around. Oh, this brushed away very easily. But I am going to take that purple 
my purplish color and I'm going to go in close to my lash line. Just keep keep splash, but just keep on. Then we're going to go back in with that silver. It's so pretty. And you know I'm going to have to use this shade. Just taking that white right up here. It's just pretty. It is just pretty. Then I'm going to take another fluffy brush. Go back in with that goldish like shade. Okay, and we'll be back with the other eye and some liner and lashes. Well, we'll be back to finish the other. Okay, I did use. <clears throat> I did use that, and I went in with, um, since I didn't get an eyeliner, but I went in, which was okay, I went in with my Maybelline New York Tattoo Studios, and I went in with a purple gel liner, and it is in the shade, what shade is it? Does it say, oh, Rich Amethyst, if you can see, purple. Back in the day, that was a color that I used to use a lot. So, now I'm going to go in with this highlighter, and I'm just going to use a brush. Ooh, look at that. Look at that glow. Whoa. why not you know what I'm gonna we're gonna actually do the right way that you you can do it however you want but it's supposed to be like a right way to put on concealer I mean not concealer highlighter to hit all points of your face and I just learned that the other day on Robert Welsh so now we're going to go in with the mascara, I'm really, usually mascara, it takes me a, a week or so to really get the feel of the product, or whether or not I'm going to like it.
but oh this is the you know the the brush it's a little curved it's got stubby little teeth on it and it's not like really wet and it's not really dry kind of like separating the lashes there And it doesn't come out, you know how sometimes when you pull out your mascara, one has got a big old clump on it. It doesn't. I am getting some lengthening on there. Yeah, I got a little mess. That's my fault. You know, we'll clean it up. Then you check the pork chops. I'm making some baked pork chops. I've got some au gratin potatoes in the oven. Like I said, it's going to take about a week or two for this one here. Are they brown? Okay, well, just put some foil on them and put them to the side. That's one coat. That's not bad. You know, I usually go in with three or four different things, but that's not bad. Yeah, that, this side's doing better. That side over there, that's where I got some lash glue really, really stuck on it. And some lashes come out. It wasn't a good time. No, it really wasn't. As you can see how well it is doing. Oh, look at that. That didn't really wet over there. Let's see if we can get some more over here. Which festival do we want? Asparagus or green beans? Cheers. Asparagus.
I'd rather have fresh asparagus. I love it roasted in the oven. I'm really liking that. I think I'm going to like this after I use it a few more times. You know how you do. you got to use mascara for a while. But that's not bad. And my eye kind of gen is like a smoky halo eye. And I used this color, this color, and this color, and this color. And then I kind of done these two here. And then I also went in with this color and now we're going to do the lips take the <laughs> go in with the uh, and this is the max factor I like this it's not so far it's like it's creamy but it's not too creamy What I do with the lid to it. And then I think what I'm going to do is That smells good. And then I think I want to take and put just a little bit of highlighter on it. And there is my look from the stuff I got from Pia. And we have went almost an hour again. But you know what? I have been seeing that almost all of my YouTubers that I watch are going a lot longer here lately. 
Most of them are going anywhere between, I mean, they used to do like 20 minute videos and now they're doing almost 40 to, minutes to an hour. I mean, my hair is going to be kind of, wow. But yeah, this is it. And I do, I really like all the stuff that she sent. The And the uh, foundation really just, it's really threw me. And I was a little disappointed in the purple shade here, but I'm going to get this to work. I really am. I'm just going to have to work with it a little bit. And even though there was some mattes in here, I really worked with all the shimmers because I liked them. Made like a little smoky black halo eye and i really liked it and my husband says that all of us girls just wear way too much makeup yes and oh i'm gonna tell you what i really 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 liked and i am surprised is i like the max factor real brow i i really i am surprised i like this i would tr really like to try to find a another color too because i some i like to mix colors I like to try to find a um, like one with has a little bit more red in it, so I can mix this in with the red. But I really like it. But thank you, Pia. You done good. You especially done really well on matching me with the um, foundation. That's really good and she, done great, Pia. I love it. And the lipstick. Just love it. But thank you. Look at that. Look at that glow. Mm, I like that glow. But I am going to go in here and I'm going to finish my husband with the our dinner. And I did make some banana muffins earlier and they are they look delicious. I'll take a picture of them too and put on the community tab. But thank you for joining. Thank you for coming and joining here and supporting. And I love you guys. And I will come up with something else here. Hopefully tomorrow I will put something up. And I know I will have something going up on Monday. Monday I think we will be doing um, Hudson Valley, me and Pia. Another collab. Yes. Something will be going up on the 18th, but between now and then, I'm going to have at least one, two, three, four. Who knows how many I'll be having, but I love you guys. You know, you're blessed. You're beautiful. I love you. Don't change. I love you guys, okay? Bye. I'll see you in my next one.